What's up guys? Serge here with Expert Marine Electronics. We just installed this Simrad NSS 12 EVO 3 and we got it paired up to uh, B275LHW chirp transducer and we're not using any external modules and we're we plugged in both uh, high chirp and low chirp to the back of this Simrad because the new ones come with dual 9 pin uh, sonar ports. I'm going to show you guys how to configure it to display both high and low chirp. So uh, you guys notice we go sonar, menu, the source is this unit channel 1. That's 200 kilohertz as you can see. And then we can go high chirp on channel one. Again, we're not in the water right now, so this is just noise that you're looking at. If we want to display low frequency or low chirp, what we have to do is go to source and use channel two. Back. Now when we go to frequency, you'll see you'll have the low frequencies in the menu. And we can do low chirp. low chirp now all right so generally out here we use high frequency for the most part so we're going to switch this back to channel one to get high chirp back all right we got high chirp there so now what we're going to do is go back to the main menu and we're going to add a page with dual sonar Save that. On this window, we got high chirp with channel one. So exit out of this. Now on this window, we have the same thing. Actually, we got 200 kilohertz, right? So what we wanna do for this window is change this to channel two. Now we got high chirp and low chirp. And since the Evo 3s have dual core processors, it has enough processing power to display both chirps at the same time with no external modules. Basically that one big transducer plugged right into the back of this display. These are definitely the hot ticket. And that's how you set it up for high and low chirp on the newer EVO 3s. Uh, bonus video here. The radar. Simrad radar is sweet. We're just in a residential neighborhood, painting really nice. Go back into standby. The new Simrad radar has two bands that it can transmit on, A band and B band for different conditions. Next thing I'll show you guys is the sonar chart. From the factory comes configured a little a little weird. So what we want to do is let me find it real quick. Shaded relief and we want to enable the contours here so we can see the depth contours definitely like shaded relief and 
this is built-in mapping showing you all the bottom contours real nice mapping right out of the box detail you can do shading as well for different depths and vegetation full detail so shaded relief is a good thing to have on and don't check this box with no contours you want to see the contours on the map pretty much sums it up